Your own grandson could be dead or alive, and all you care about is saving your own neck. Don't you dare lecture me, boy. My feelings for my grandson are my concern, not yours. Oh, then you do have feelings for Cord. Will wonders never cease? Damn it, Abbott, we're talking about that letter from Mitch to Vicky. Did you tell Cord about it, or didn't you? Hey, 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 what's all the racket? I can hear you guys yelling out in the driveway. Oh, uh, it's, it's nothing, son. It didn't sound like nothing to me. Well, Asa wanted to know uh, how we were going to handle Dorian's confession for tomorrow's banner, and since no one could get hold of you... Well, there's a good reason for that, Richard. What is it, son? Oh, I was up at the cabin until I came down with something. Oh, hey, maybe you should take a nice vacation. Maybe join Vicky. No, 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 no. All I need is some work. Work and the letter. Letter? <clears throat> yeah, the letter that uh, Mitch Lawrence sent to Vicky. I mean, now that uh, Dorian has confessed to that murder of Mitch Lawrence, I figured there might be something in the letter that could help her. You do still have it, don't you? I am my own person. I heed the message. Liar! You're not your own person. You're Mitch's personal robot. Yeah, robots sit at attention. Robots can't think. Robots can't feel. You know, you are a mechanical wind-up toy. What are you doing with her in there? I told you. I tried to warn you. It wasn't going to be easy to wait out here. Why don't you, why don't you sit over there? No, no, no. I'm staying right here. Thank you. And you would rather remain a toy, isn't that right? You'd rather for someone else to turn your key, set you in motion. It's so much easier than thinking for yourself, isn't it? Stop it. You can't say these things to me. Why not? Because of the truth? Does the truth hurt a little bit, Mary Lynn? That's good. That's good. Maybe that means that there's a shred of a human being left inside of you. Is there, Mary Lynn? Is there a human being in there? Stop it, I said! That's a woman! Let me out of here! I'm not going anywhere. Let me out! Will you let me out? Okay, that's it. I'm, no, hey, Mr. Dennis, hey, hey, go in there. Hey, you! Put it down. What are you doing to my daughter, huh? I'd say that this was an occasion for champagne. Well, I'd say let's skip the party. You're out on bail. You're not free, and you've got to go back to court in a couple of days. A lot so. can happen between now and then, my darling. Would you try to relax? Look, Please. Mom, I really think you should take this seriously. Did you see the look on Judith Sanders' face? I mean, she is waiting to hear you plead guilty. Except we're not going to plead guilty, see? There are certain extenuating circumstances. If I can just get your mother to help me prepare her defense, I, we're going to get out of this just fine. The two of you seem determined to turn this cheerful evening into a tedious legal discussion. Now, I won't allow that. I'd rather go to prison. I'm told that's tedious, too. There's only one thing that's important here, Herb. Tell me again. That Cassie can never, ever have to stand trial for Mitch's murder. Dorian. For the 19th time, I'm sure. She cannot be tried twice for the same crime. It's called double, double jeopardy. Double jeopardy, double jeopardy. I just love the sound of that. Good. It's double jeopardy. So that makes my defense really rather simple. It does? Yes. I just tell the judge I deny the whole thing. You what? What? You both heard me. I'll tell him I never did it. Dorian. You confessed to the murder of Mitch Lawrence, and now you're taking it back? I've never held you to your word, have I? You said it in court. Yes, but that's because I was trying to keep Cassie out of court. And look at her. Is she behind bars? No, she's back in the bosom of her family where she belongs. You belong in Mountain View. You can't just make a confession to a murder and then turn around and deny it. Why not? I mean, for goodness sakes, would you rather that I go to prison? No, Mom, nobody wants you to be in prison. We just don't understand how you could admit to killing Mitch and then all of a sudden say you didn't do it. It's a free country, isn't it? I hope a woman may change her mind. I'm going bonkers. This is not a matter of choosing red shoes or blue shoes. No, it's a matter of Cassie's innocence. So you only confessed to the crime to get the charges dropped against me. It worked, didn't it? Oh, <laughs> yes, by making a complete mockery out of justice. Well, I'll tell you something. I, for one, think justice could be mocked. Yes. And, uh, since I am not like uh, a lawyer, like some people here, I put my daughter's life first, and justice comes a very poor second. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Now, I know you were only trying to help me, Mom. But assuming that you didn't kill Mitch, then that probably means that I did. What? No, 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 honey, no, I was very drugged didn't. out, and I, I was in a daze, and I, and I was out of it, and I probably picked up that candlestick, and I knocked listen, it a second time, and then... Listen to me, Kathy. You did not kill Mitch. How can you be so sure? Be because I know you, that's why I'm sure. And because the only important thing here is that you, you can never again be charged for the crime. Yes. You're free. Yes, that's you're true. Free. But you, you, my darling, you're staring prison right in the face.
thing. Oh, come on. They can't prove that I killed anybody. No, they can prove that you lied under oath. That's called perjury. They put people in prison for that. Aha! I didn't think of that one, did you? They couldn't. They wouldn't, would they? They could, they would, and they will, unless you stop playing games and tell me the truth. Now, Dorian, once and for all, did you kill Mitch Lawrence or didn't you? All right, come on. Would you just cool it, please? All right. Okay. Sure, he's rough on her, but how... How else is he going to break through and reach Mary Lou? Well, he hasn't reached her, has he? Huh? And what's taking so long with this expert of yours? Maybe you could answer that better than I can, Mr. Me? Dennis. You're supposed to be the expert, aren't you? I am, but my experience tells me that Mary Lynn is fighting me with more than just Mitch's mind control. You think there's something in her, in her personality that's making her resist? Don't be ridiculous. Mary Lynn is a clean-cut, open-minded young lady. At least she was until she met this Lawrence character. That may well be, Mr. Dennison, but... There's something about Mary Lynn, something deep within her psyche that won't let me get through to her. Well, you might get through to her if you stop yelling at her. Well, Tom, please. It's all right, stop Mary. It. Mr. Dennison, I don't want to yell at her. Maybe if I knew more about her, about her past in particular. She's been brainwashed. That's all you need to know. That's here and now. The past doesn't make any difference, okay? It might make all the difference in the world. Look, if all were my kids sitting in there, I would do anything I could to help her, no matter how painful or embarrassing. What are you suggesting? Well, I've got something to hide, is that it? No, no one said that. Okay. I've been the best father I know how to be to her, okay? And it hasn't been that easy. Believe me, especially since... Since when? Go on, Mr. Dennis. Well, since Mary Lynn's mother died. Mary Lynn was two years old at the time. That must have been rough on the both of them. It was. It certainly was. I look, uh, I used to, I used to leave her with a babysitter from time to time, go out for a couple of drinks. And I would come back, she'd be asleep. I'd kneel down by her crib and stroke her hair and tell her there isn't anything in the world I wouldn't do for you, honey. Not anything in the world. I'm sure she knew that. No, 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 no. she did. She wouldn't be the, in the shape she's in now, would she? Look, something tells me that your daughter needs you a whole lot more right now than she needs me. Why don't you go in and talk to her? Oh, yeah. yeah. What am I supposed to say to her, huh? Say what you feel. Ask me, you know, you should forget about work altogether, go home and get into bed. Yeah, well, don't worry about the banner. I'm on top of everything. I'm not down worried. There. I'm not worried about anything, Richard, except the letter. Yeah, well, the thing is, I, uh, burned it. You did what? Well, those were your instructions, Clint. I mean, you told me to open it, and if there wasn't anything important inside... And how important could more of Mitch Lawrence's lies be? Well, I'm sorry, Clint. I, I thought that's what you wanted you me to do. You thought. You thought. Damn it, Richard, I didn't mean for you to take me so literally. Dorian Lord is, is facing a murder charge. There might have been something in that letter that could show the court that Mitch Lawrence was not some innocent victim. Yes, well, uh, I'm glad you burned the letter, Richard. What if Vicky had seen it? We don't know how upset she might be. Yeah, I just wish there was some way that we could help Dorian. If you testified to the contents of the letter, it would be thrown out as pure hearsay. Well, you're right, Asa. I mean, you really have to read it to believe it. Oh, no, hold on just a minute. Is this a private party, or can just anybody join in? What is this, some fever acting up? No, 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 it's not no fever acting up. I'm not so damn sick, I don't know when I'm being jerked around. Now, what do you two know that I don't? <laughs> 